Hello all, welcome to an another part in practice Selenium Java Automation Here training series. In this session, I am going to practically show you how to automate the next test case in this register account functionality that is test case register account functionality number 12. Okay. So let's automate this particular test case. So what's the test case is all about? First, let's go through this. Okay. Verify registering an account by using the keyboard keys. Okay. We have to register an account by with the help of keyboard keys guys. Okay. So while you are creating an account in the register page, you should not be using your mouse rather you have to use the keyboard keys to get the account created. Okay. So for that, first we have to open the application URL in any browser using Selenium automation. And thereafter, using your mouse only, you will click on my account drop menu. Uh, then you will click on the register option using Selenium automation. You will, you will go to the register account page. Till there, normal Selenium automation, guys. But from here, from the third step, we have to enter account details into all the fields. The moment you land on the register account page, okay, register account page, all these details into the fields, you have to enter with the help of keyboard keys, okay? No matter what keyboard keys you will use, but you have to enter the details into this, uh, you know, uh, this uh, fields of the register account page with the help of keyboard keys and finally click on continue button even with the help of keyboard key. And uh, then you will be taken to the another page uh, that is the user should be logged in. Expected result here is user should be logged in and taken to the account success page. Okay, user should get logged in and should be we should be taken to the account success page. Uh, this is what we have to verify guys. Okay. Whether we are able to, uh, we are able to log in and take into the account success page. This is not required anyhow, proper details and all this much is enough. Okay. User should be logged in and take into account success page. Let's see what will happen. Let's get started guys. Uh, before letting, uh, letting started, uh, would like to show you my website. Okay. That is a uh, QFox, uh, QFox.com. Okay, this is my website, guys. Qfox.com. So, so where all my work uh, from the starting from the year twenty, you know, twenty thirteen. Okay, two thousand thirteen. All my work is available here on software testing and uh, that to everything for free. So you can take an advent. Lot of free courses are there. Full free courses uh, are there. Uh, you know, a uh, lot of people spend a lot of money in the institutes and all, and they get nothing out of them. But here I provided a lot of content for you for free. A uh, lot of links, uh, you know, each and every link here. To put it here, it has taken me like uh, three to four months of time. For example, this one has taken three to four months for me to do R&D, find out the Java programs, you know, uh, create the programs and, you know, practically demonstrate writing the programs and recording the videos for you and all. It has taken me three to four months, guys. Similarly, all the links also have taken considerable amount of time for me. SQL full playlist, Python made easy, like many things are there, software testing, beginner course, okay? Like that many courses, Selenium courses and all the other videos have taken a lot of time for me. So hope that you'll be able to utilize it. And uh, here you can join my Telegram group, okay? Where you'll get our content updates. Along with that, another Telegram group is there for us. It's very important Telegram group where not only content updates, we'll also share live training updates and the webinar updates. Okay, weekly webinar updates and all so on. Okay, so try to join this Telegram group. So I'll and uh, you already know that. Uh, okay, so that website you try to bookmark it so that uh, at any point of time in your career, if there is any you know any any situation comes where you have to learn something, you can learn from that particular page. Okay, the bookmarked page, and I'll show you my Telegram group here. I'll also provide the Telegram group. Uh, link in the pinned comment of this particular video guys okay check the pinned comment and description of this video you will get, you will find the details of this particular telegram group so let me open the telegram group here okay fine so let it open yeah this is the telegram and uh, here is our telegram group guys okay you see, we are posting a lot of things, uh, training, live trainings, uh, related stuff, content related stuff, updates, and you know, webinar every weekend. We have a webinar here. Just try to join this group, guys, uh, using this particular link. I'll also post this link in the description and, uh, you know, a pinned comment of the video. And in the description of the video, you'll also find this code that I have 
automated here for uh, you know automating this particular test case code have written automation selenium automation code have written for automating this particular test case also will be there in the description of the video case you will find all the details there along with the telegram group details so now let's uh, without any delay let's get started here guys so what we'll do here is uh, i'll switch to this eclipse id uh, where you know in this project we are creating a lot of uh, automation scripts for each and every test case of register account functionality for now right so in the last session i uh, you know mm, i separated this uh, initial startup code into the before method and uh, the driver.quit thing into the after method i explained the reasons in the previous uh, video of this series so now all the test cases are here so i'll go to the end and create one more test case this is priority 10 the last test case was uh, that i uh, automated in the previous session is priority 10 priority 10 now i'll create one more test case public void sorry typo public void uh, public void uh, then followed by i have to give a name for this uh, test method register with register account using keyboard keys keyboard keys okay have to take the help of the keyboard keys in order to create an account okay and i have to convert this uh, normal method into a test ng test method okay so that i will add the rate test annotation from test ng and after that i'll start writing the code here i don't have to write the startup startup initial code because that is already part of the before method annotation okay before un annotated method annotated methods uh, setup method here i name the method as setup method you can name anything so already the code till reaching the register option uh, register page is already there. You open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL and click on the My Account drop menu. And then after that, uh, uh, click on the register option to go to the register page. Okay. Mm. So these are the things already done. The setup code will run anyhow. So after, after going to the register page, what I have to do, for example, here I'm on the register page. Let manually, let me manually show you after going to the register page, what I have to do, I'll tell you. All these things are already there in the setup code, setup method. Okay. Once you go to the register page, register account page here, you should not be using your mouse or something. You rather you have to you take the help of the keyboard keys to get to this first name field. Okay. Till I come to this first name field, I have to keep, uh, keep clicking tab. You say, for example, manually I'm pressing tab key, tab, 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 and so on. Okay. I'm just pressing the tab key and I have to keep doing this until, you know, you can see the options getting selected on the uh web page like account register login multiple times I have to press tab until i come to this first name field okay once i am on the first name field then that's good okay so how to make that happen okay how to make that happen guys okay so how to make that uh happen okay first until first name field i have to keep pressing the tab i don't know how many times i have to press there may be some count actually that I have to keep uh, pressing the tab key but how to first of all press the tab key in order to press the tab key, uh, we can take help of uh, actions. Actions, actions is equal to new actions. Create an object for the actions class in Selenium. And hover the mouse on the actions and uh, just hover the mouse on this actions class and import it from Selenium library. And uh, to this actions, pass the driver. The driver is globally declared here on the top case. Okay. If you see on the top here, driver is globally declared. Okay, and driver is also set and all those stuff. Okay, so I just have to pass the driver here. And here I'll set the priority because I'll forget again. Priority is equal to priority is equal to 11. Okay, the last one was 10. So this one is 11. Okay, actions, actions is called new and actions. There are some predefined methods in actions uh, class. That is, uh, we have something like send keys command uh, where we can enter the keys. Okay, this will press and release the key keys dot tab okay if i and uh, if i say like this and keys dot uh, keys dot tab and say dot perform dot perform okay then it will this command will only run when you end this particular thing with perform okay so fine now this particular action i have to do multiple times how many times let's see okay how many times let's see so Okay. So how to do this? I'm just checking. Mm, 
for int i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10. 10 times I'll try and see what will happen, okay? I'll try this 10 times and see what will happen. Manually, I'll try this 10 times, okay? Let's see whether I'll get to that, uh, whether my cursor, the selection will come to the first name field or not. I'll try this. Uh, I'll run this code and see what will happen. Let's run the code and uh, see what will happen. So execution will start. 10 times the tap, tap key will be pressed uh, by the time, 10 times if you are pressing where the you know control will come. Let's see. We have to press multiple times, guys, okay? But uh, till how many times? Okay, it has closed the browser, guys, okay? That's the problem here. The problem is like, you know, have to go to the top and uh, for now I'll comment this out. Driver dot bit I'll comment. I will not run this code. Okay. I'll enable it. Otherwise, you'll not be able to see till where the tab key has been pressed. It will be very fast. Script will be very fast and the browser will get closed. So let's run it again. This time driver dot bit will not run. So let's go to this uh uh-huh. So tab key will be pressed uh, till where I'm not able to see anything guys. Okay. I'm not able to see where the cursor has stopped, but uh, I feel that I have to continue it for uh, some more time. That is, uh, I'll just do it like, you know, 20 times otherwise. Okay. Or else I'll try it manually again. I'll just refresh this page. Tap one time, two time, three time. Four time, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three times, guys. Okay, I have to press twenty three times. So let's see whether this will work or not. I have to press the tab key twenty three times. Let's see whether the cursor will be there in the first name field or not. I'm doing everything using the keyboard keys, okay, keyboard. And with the help of this actions class, I will do, going ahead. Okay, let's go to the register account page, tap, 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 tap. You see, the cursor is now blinking in first name field. We are good, we have achieved whatever you want to achieve. 23 times I have to press the tap key. That I have achieved programmatically, that's good. Now what I have to do next, actions dot, I have to continue. This time, send keys I will say, and I'll provide the text here, okay? I have to enter the name here, Arun, dot, okay? Arun dot, I have a function known as pass, guys, okay? Where I have, I can, you know, pass the execution for some time, otherwise you will not be able to see, it will, script will be very fast, right? I'll say pass, or, okay, pass for, you know, duration dot, Duration dot of seconds. I just give some two seconds of time, nothing much. Then I have to press enter and say dot. Okay. Just uh, I, I can take it to the next line if required. Okay. Like this. Okay. Instead of this will be very lengthy, right? So instead of that, uh, we'll write like this actions dot send keys dot pass. Multiple commands are there. So, so again, I have to say send keys after saying pass dot send keys. After typing this, uh, uh, keys dot tab I'll say. Then dot. After saying that, I'll just give some pass here. Pass duration dot uh, the same thing guys. Okay, pass duration. It will halt the program for two seconds. Nothing much. Okay. Dot send keys I'll say. And here this time I'll enter my last name here. Okay, I'll enter my last name. Then again, you see here. After, after typing around here, I will press the tab key. It will go to the last name. Here I have entered Motori. After passing and all, I'll just press tab key like that. Okay. I'm just keeping on going there. Okay. Dot. Again, pass in every way I'm passing here and there. Okay. So that uh, we can see the script running properly. Dot. Send keys. Keys dot tab key. Okay. Then again, tab dot so that pass it for this duration of two seconds. 
and after that dot send keys I have to enter the email address guys okay so how to enter the email address you already know that uh, for email address we have to create a timestamp and all those stuff okay so i'll do one thing before this actually this thing started i'll create some code here uh, or else uh, here itself i'll create the code okay timestamp related code so date date is equal to new date this we are already aware of in the previous uh, sessions okay demonstrated date dot uh, show spring dot replace and here replace the space with the uh, underscore okay i'm just creating an email with the help of timestamp so that every time i enter a email address into the email field a brand new email address will be entered into the email field because timestamp will be different and i have to replace uh, the colon in the timestamp with us underscore symbol again okay so this will create a timestamp so this will create the timestamp guys okay so put a string here and say timestamp timestamp uh, okay then multiple test methods, uh, we need this, uh, you know, method, right? We'll do that uh, later, guys, okay? How to, you know, write this code at one place and from all the test methods, how to gather this into a single location, I'll tell you later. But for now, we'll just uh, focus on the script, timestamp at the rate uh, gmail dot. Timestamp plus at the rate, like this, give double quote, and uh, at the rate, gmail. Here, give double quote, that's it. Put a semicolon. That's it. Okay. Timestamp uh, at the rate gmail.com. After that dot again, pass. I'll pass the execution for two seconds. Uh -huh. So okay, here put a semi I'll put a semicolon there. That's the reason it was not working. Pass. A P dot P A U S C. Pass and uh, then duration dot duration dot of seconds duration dot of seconds and I'll give the duration dot of seconds here. Then say dot uh, send keys. Then say keys dot tab, keys dot tab. Then again say dot, again pass. Then duration dot of seconds. Then again say dot, then send keys. Here this time, when you enter some email, let's say at the rate gmail.com, I'll give some just junk text uh, here and there and some in between some, you know, 09, 01, 0901. Okay, something like that I'll give. And here, when I press tab key, it will go to the telephone field. Uh, here, I'll simply say, when I am the telephone field, I have to enter the telephone number, right? So here, I'll try to enter the telephone number. That is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. Now say dot pass. And uh, then I have to say keys dot tab. Okay. The moment I say key, uh, sorry, here. This is pass, right? So duration dot of seconds. I have to give. And uh, then dot send keys keys dot tab okay so after entering the telephone number here one two three four five six seven eight nine zero i'll press the tab key it will go to the password field okay now we are in the password field so i'll simply say pass again pass for two seconds duration dot of seconds so it will be kind of lengthy that's why i'm writing in uh, new lines every time okay so again say dot send keys I have to enter the password, right? Already tab key is pressed. So I have to enter the password one, two, three, four, five. Again, I'll say dot just to save the time. I'll say dot pass. Okay. Then dot send keys, keys dot tab. Again, I have to say dot pass. Then dot send keys. I have to enter the password, confirm password here. After entering one, two, three, four, five, after entering one, two, three, four, five, I have to press the tab key. I'm on the password confirm field. Here again, I have to print as enter one, two, three, four, five as a password, password confirm. Okay. Dot again, I have to give the pass two seconds. And then after entering one, two, three, four, five, after giving two seconds of pass, I have to say dot send keys. When I'm here, press tab key. I'm going to the no option. I have to press tab. 
So I have to go to from here, here, I'm getting here. You see, what's happening here is when I press the tab key here, whatever the option that is currently in selected mode, it's going there. So again, I have to press the left arrow key to change this option. Okay. Left arrow key I have to press. So from here, when I press tab key, it's going to the no option. Okay. So I have to select the yes radio button for that to happen. So after entering one, two, three, four, five, and I say keys dot uh, tab, it'll go to the no radio button. Now I'll simply say this uh, pass, pass dot send keys, pass dot send keys. Uh, then I have to press keys dot left arrow. I think I'm just thinking this is a left uh, arrow left. Okay, arrow left key I have to press and release. The moment I do that, what will happen here? When I'm here, it will just press the, this one. Okay, it will select the S radio button. Now again, I have to press the tab key. It's on the privacy policy field. Okay, now I have to press the tab key here. Pass that duration. Uh, send the keys. Tab key I'll press. I'll just copy paste it. Why to enter every time? Again, after that, I have to give pass. If you don't want this pass, you can remove that guys. Okay, you can make it one second or two seconds. That's up to you. Uh, but uh, just it's good to have that. That's why I'm including it. Okay, so uh, once you press the tab key, where you are, guys, uh, you are on the privacy policy. Again, I have to press tab to come to this uh, checkbox field. Okay, so I'll just uh, again say send keys, keys dot tab again, say dot uh, pass. Then after doing that, I'll be here on the this one. How to press the space bar to select this checkbox? I have to press the space bar. So to make that happen, I have to say dot send keys, keys dot space keys dot space okay i think that is space bar only right uh, this space bar any other key for uh, space space key only okay i'm just pre pressing the space key. once i press the space key this option will be selected again i have to press tab the focus is on the continue button okay again you have to say pass dot send keys keys dot tab will be on the which button Continue button. Now I have to press when I am the continue button. I'll just pass here for two seconds and then I'll press on the enter key. Keys dot enter. I'll say. You see, every activity I have done with the help of keyboard keys only. And at the end, I have to say dot build dot perform. Okay. You see, here earlier actions send keys was the only command, so only perform I provided. But here in this case, with these actions, I've used this many number of methods, more than one method. So I have to use dot build dot perform. All these methods need to be builded first, then performed. Okay. So then we'll see whether uh, this I, this thing is working or not. We'll see first. Okay. Let's run the code and see whether this thing is working fine or not. Okay. I'll run the code. Okay. I'll run the code. Uh, yeah, it has to press the tab key. It's taking two seconds pass every time, you see, so that we can see it properly what's happening on the screen. Yes, everything is happening with the help of keyboard keys that you can see on the screen. We are simulating the keyboard keys. There may be some situations where the user, you know, will try to create an account with the help of keyboard keys. You see, S radio button got selected also. Privacy policy, checkbox field. It should be get selected. Then tab key, continue button, press enter. Account should get created. You see account got created also. So how to confirm that the account has been created? This account success page will verify. Whether if you are on the account success page, that means, okay, if this URL comes means uh, we are on this uh, account got created successfully, okay? So I'll just finally write the assertion statement. All the code had been done. We have successfully automated this particular code. So uh, I'll say spring expected uh, url is equal to give the expected url here but in double quotes i have to give put a semicolon here and uh, string actual url okay 
string actual URL. How to get the actual URL? Driver dot get current URL. This will get the actual URL. Now I have to say assert dot assert equals. And here actual URL I'll provide. Actual URL I'll provide here. And the expected URL I'll provide here. That's it. Remaining things will be taken care of by the script. Uh, I'll just go to the top and, uh, you know, I'll just uh, remove this, uh, uncomment this driver.quit thing so that it will run. This time, everything should work and the test should run and it should get passed also. Okay. So I am running the code, guys. I'm running the code. The particular test that I have automated in this particular session should get passed. Let's see what will happen. With the help of keyboard keys, we are able to create the account. We should be able to create the account and account should get created successfully. Okay. Since I don't see any issue in the manual application, I think it should get passed. If you want to be a bit fast, you can change the pass seconds to one second, guys. Okay. Now two seconds are there, right? You can change it to one second. Okay. If you want it to be a bit faster, it's kind of slow, right? So you can make it faster also. We are simply utilizing the pass uh, command that is uh, provided in the actions uh, class. Okay. So for our uh, demonstration also, we can make it a bit faster by changing it to one second if required. Okay. Let's try to change it to one second and see whether it works or not. After this script runs fine, we can do that. Once we click on the continue button, you see the test got passed successfully. We have completed automating this particular test case. Okay, so I'll just change this uh, two seconds to one second, guys. Okay, because it's kind of very slow. I'll just change it to one second. I'll try to run the script again. Okay. I'll just change it to one second. Okay. One second, one second, one second. Done. Okay. Now I have to click on this run button. Let's see what will happen. Let's see what will happen. One second, it was very fast, right? It's kind of fast compared to the two seconds part and uh, the test is working fine. So we are done automating this particular test case, guys. Okay, uh, where uh, verify registering an account by by creating the account by with the help of the keyboard keys. Okay. I have demonstrated how to do so with the help of actions class and its uh, methods we have done. So we were able to, um, you know, uh, create an account with the help of keyboard keys. Okay. So fine. This one is completed. So I'll just change it to this color as it is completed now. Fine. I think, uh, for this, uh, session, this much is good. Okay. So in the upcoming uh, sessions, I'm going to practically show you how to automate the other test cases we have. Okay. There are a lot of test cases we have that I'm going to automate in the upcoming sessions for this session. This much is good. Okay. Fine. So let me, we are done with this session guys. Okay. Let me close this session. Okay. So that's all. That's all guys. That's all. That's all for this video. And, uh, in the next video we'll come up with, I'll come up with, uh, you know, another, uh, another test case or another automation thing. Okay. Where I'll try to automate uh, different scenarios in different uh, real time applications. Okay. For you so that you can learn and practice automation along with me. Okay. And this videos will build your confidence. Like anything, the code that I have written for automating this particular test case in this uh, session, right? I'll provide in the description of this video. Also check the pinned comment. Okay. Where you'll find uh, all the other details like, uh, my telegram group and, uh, other stuff. Okay. Other useful stuff. So thank you guys. See you. Bye-bye.